After watching Afumi and Tiger leave dejected, we all went back to our rooms. Still morning, but because of everything that's happened, I'm tired already. Well, anyway, I just have to put myself together. So what should I do with the rest of my day? Let's go see... Um... Kiyoko. And then Taka. I wonder if she's in the physics lab again. Oh no. Oh yeah, she is. Yeah. Okay, dokie. Hello. I'm bald. This is bad. What's the matter? Are you keeping an eye on me? Don't worry, I'm not going to kill anyone. It's Even true. though she just said that, sure. I was about to head to the dining hall to get something to drink. Did you want to come with me? I went to the dining hall and drank some tea with Kyoko. Kyoko and I drew a little closer today. Right, well, if she's drinking tea, she can have some more tea. This is something you don't see too often. Do you mind if I keep it? I'd like to take a closer look at it. Does that mean she likes it? Quiet as ever. I guess she doesn't like to waste her words. Hey, um, Kyoko. If you're expecting a conversation, don't. There's no need for it. But I mean, don't you think talking is important? I feel like if we're going to get out of here, we all need to be on the same page. And to do that, we need to get to know each other. You could certainly make the argument of forming friendships may help prevent so... killings. Are you asking for some kind of deep connection? Because huh? You could just be deceiving us, pretending to be everyone's friends who can gather information. No, no, that's not... Well then, let's do a quick test, shall we? That's a test? Right. If you're as gung-ho on friendship as they claim, this should be an easy question. Uh, okay. So I just have to answer your question, is that it? Are you ready? You consider Hina one of your friends, yeah. yes? If that's true, what's her ultimate ability? That's an easy one. Hina's ultimate ability is... Swimming. I think. He needs the ultimate swimming throw, of course. Well asked and answered. Then the pleas of camaraderie are true. Of course. Yes, of course. Such a foolishly open person as you can never lie. Everyone would know right away. Again, with that foolishly so open bad. stuff. Okay then, as promised, what you'd like to know about me? Oh, um, let's see. What school did you used to go to before you came here? Before I came here? I guess I was living abroad. Abroad? It was it an exchange program or did your parents work overseas or something? My parents? I suppose... Why are the question marks? <laughs> Fucking out. This game really likes short questions. Anyway, okay. So she was living abroad because of her dad's job. So what kind of work does he do? Foreign government, top secret clear- Foreign government, top secret clearance? More question marks. Okay, so he does top secret work for other governments. All I can think of is assassin. Now I'm at it. Oh no. I kept up my end of the deal. This should be enough, right? I'm leaving now. She left without waiting for a reply. Jeeves will never fucking question mark. She's so full of mystery. And hearing what she had to say just added even more mystery on top of everything. Once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Right, let's go find Super Sane. There we go. Where? Laundry. Right. What 
I wonder if this technically counts as a bit of Monday. It probably doesn't, but... Yeah. So pissed! I'm on Morrow's committee! Fudging! Fucking what?! I'm not gonna say fudging. Oh, maybe I should leave him alone. Alright, then let's go talk to Bianca. So yeah, because it technically counts as... I don't know, it's kind of both of them. Well, no, really it's... Uh, I don't know. Right, Bianca is in his room. What do you want? I wonder who it was coming to talk to me. Turns out it's always she always useless as ever. Incompetent Mikoto. <clears throat> Shall I hang out with Bioka for a while? That's He's fine. a cunt, but sure. Fine, I don't allow mind allowing you to indulge my attention. Spend some time with Bioka. Bianca and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give him a present? Yeah, it's called a handful of shit, but I can't do that one, can I? So, let's have a look. I don't know, what could I give him? Glasses, fuck it, let's be stereotypical. I don't blame you trying to buy other people's affection. If you're going to do that, at least give them something. Ah, oh, fuck. I have a question for you. Right. How you do? Something's been bothering me for a while now, and I can't take it anymore, so to answer my question, I need you to explain to me what exactly Ultimate Lucky Shooter title means. Oh, well, I don't totally get it myself, but what I do know is that I was picked at random from a so pool of normal words. students. So, you just got him to hip speak by blind luck? <laughs> I see, well that answers my question. What was the question? How a commoner like you with absolutely no unique talents or abilities could get into the school? Oh, I forgot to mention boring. How a boring, untalented, utterly generic commoner got in. Boring? Generic? D did you really have to list all that off? But it's the truth. Maybe compared to you, the ultimate affluent progeny and all. Maybe compared to you, the affluent progeny and all, but even I... You seem to think it's merely an issue of title, but it makes no mistake. But name no mistake, my lineage, intelligence, figure, athletic ability, they're all ultimate. Which to say I am the ultimate perfection. Feel free to be calling me that, in fact. He's really taken this to the extreme. You who have nothing, I who have everything. We are living proof that all men are not created equal. You have my pity, Makoto. Life can be very cruel indeed. <laughs> because I pity you so much, perhaps someday I'll allow you to hear my tale of glory. Consider it a blessing, a gift from me to you, to allow you to bask in my glory. Having finished this mean-spirited lecture, Bianca left me standing there in silence. The game has froze. No, it hasn't. I learned one thing about Bianca today. He's a dickhead. Need to be prepared for trauma. Right, cool and composed. There we go. We've already got one. I did my best to keep my spirit from shattering like glass and went back to my room. Night time, motherfuckers! <coughs> Come on. Not soon, okay? okay? Night time already. I guess I'll just go to bed for today. Happy New Day! I'm the kind of guy I don't want to celebrate a new year. I want to celebrate the dawn of every new day. What the fuck is that new item you put it, by the way? Huh? I have no idea. Looks like there's an egg on top, but it's not. Because every new day deserves a deserves celebrating to so. That was useless. Good morning, everyone. Get ready to greet. 
I better get to the dining hall. Toko and Kyoko are not here today. Kyoko is still on guard duty, probably. I have no idea about Taka. Me, well, just forget about that guy. You don't have to get so mad. The rivals in love. What are you gonna do? Don't put me on the same level as that that virgin. <laughs> I might catch you virginity. Oh, because you're so a fucking player, aren't you? You so don't have it already. Yeah, now nah, my guess is you're already <laughs> infected. Wait, you can really catch it? Stop being vulgar, let's eat breakfast. But as soon as my hands approach my food... Huh? That voice! Dodge the dining hall explosion and the figure appeared. So in the end. She only turns when she's seen blood, so someone's dead. So it's you, Genocide Jack, and... Don't bother asking why we've arrived at the same time, the answer should be obvious. I'll give you a hint! I'm wearing red lingo today. Lingerie today. Um, I don't think anyone wanted to know. Hold on a second, you! Uh huh? What's your top power like? 32, 22, 33? You start out big on top to try and look thinner down south. Your man's a serious, he can't catch you! You dunk him in milk every night or something! He's starting to freak me out! If you were a finger on here, I will show you no mercy! So, what do you want? Surely you are not here to join us for breakfast? Of course not, I came here to hear a story. I came to hear a story. A story? A story? A story that nobody has bothered to tell me yet. We should fucking be here, shouldn't you, dickhead? Are you talking about Alter Ego? Mm. Sorry, we can't talk about that right now. Why not? Because of certain circumstances. Up to now, I haven't given a crap. You haven't given a crap about anything, and now you are concerned. I don't buy it at all. I've just made a decision. When we get out of here, I'm going to feed your body to the vultures. What kind of messed up dictator are you? But this isn't a. But isn't this a democracy, or would you exclude those who don't fit into your train, train, what the fuck, tyrannical majority? That's not what we're doing. Well, whatever. If nothing else, tell me what's going on with Taka. When I saw him the other day, yesterday, I happened to notice something seemed off, so I was curious. Taka has become com utterly useless. Cel Celeste, you don't have to say it like that. I see. Did his spirit collapse or something? Was he unable to withstand his environment? Those men who clear of themselves in the cheap fabric of justice are often the first to fail. But perhaps that will make things all the more interesting. Interesting? Let me leave you a bit of advice. Don't come to rely on false commander. Or you'll reap its bitter reward. Reap its bitter reward. That's why you came? To give us that amazing advice? It seems I am unwelcome here. I, I'll, then I'll grant you a desire to remove myself. Yeah, let's get out of here. You don't need to come with me. You don't have to play hard again, Master. You can just play hard. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Mm, does in a way. Bianca started to slow back out the room. Slowly back out the room. He started picking up speed and soon he was sprinting out of the dining hall. He ran away? And now he's running hard now he's running hard again. I see. Wait, 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 wait! So the end there. What was all that about? Um Just now Bianca was like uh, Maybe he's like the mean guy who's just acting different, you're getting all flashy when hmm. things change. Yes, sir. Uh, those of us left in the dining hall. Finished our breakfast, then went back to our rooms.
Also, I just realised something. Technically, you didn't need the new motors to be good. Because the other two would probably do just fine. Like the embarrassing secret and the tape. And I guess, I guess, if you haven't killed someone, it means it didn't really matter to you. Hmm, what to do today? Okay, then. Right, where are they? Let's have a guess where Kyoko is. But first we'll check this room for Biaka. I don't know, she's in laundry, that's different. Right then. I could get a cheat sheet on this bit. Because it's not really too important. Why? Who set all this up and why did they choose us? There were so many mysteries. Well. I'm in no position to tell you what to do. You're free to do as you wish, right? But I have my own way of doing things. Joined Kyoko while she searched the school. We didn't say anything to each other. Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. What would you like to give her? My dick! Can't give her tea again. Shouldn't give her potato chips. Hmm. I don't know, let's look it up actually. I'll be back. Okay, I think it's this. Thank you. Thank you. This really means a lot to me. Seeing Kyoko so pleases with something I gave her makes me happy. Oh, Kyoko! How do you stay so calm, Kyoko? Calm? I mean, you never lose your cool. You never show emotion. You say that like I'm some kind of inhuman beast. No, I didn't mean it like that. Well, I am a human. I do have emotions. I simply keep it to myself, I don't show it in my face or my voice. You make that sound e way easier than it is, especially in these kind of circumstances. Maybe you should consider trying, your naive honesty makes you an easy target. Just keep saying things like that, it's kind of irritating. Isn't there anything I can say to get reaction out of her? Protect against decryption, deception, and never allow others to read your emotions. Whoever stands before you, don't let them push you around. Remember that. And that's why you hide your own feelings. But, but that's such a waste. Hmm? Your smile is just so cute. Hiding it behind that mask is such a waste. A bright smile is way better. Hey, Ship, ship, Kyoko and Makoto, ship. What are you talking about? C cute? It's much too soon to be bringing up things like that. Ah, looks like I got you to show a hint of emotion, didn't I? What? You, Makoto, you, you, you deceived me? Why? Huh? Wait! I don't believe this. To use the word cute to deceive someone, that's just too cool. So, so, sorry I got carried away, but but still, I, I did deceive you, but it, it's not like it was a total lie. You see how easily you are, you yourself are deceived. Hey, right back at you. Hi, daddy! Hey. <laughs> These nuts! You would never have just come out and call someone accused like that. Completely out of character. You thought I wouldn't pick up on such an obvious ploy. What? You mean... I thought I tricked you, but I was the one getting tricked? Watch yourself, Makoto. You're honest, to, f to a fault. With that, she was gone. The most formidable opponent. Who doesn't look skill, neural liberation. With Kyoko gone, I slowly made my way back to my room. Right, let's look up Biyaka cheat, because that worked very well. So I'm looking for an A on the Biyaka cheat sheet. 